you have finally stepped outside your comfort zone and attended a networking meeting only to find out you have less than one minute to introduce yourself and explain who you serve and how you help them. This can cause anxiety for a lot of people. Preparing your elevator pitch and memorizing it will come in handy, not only for networking, but in many other ways in your virtual assistant business. Can you explain your virtual assistant business to someone in less than one minute? In this video, let's take a look at how to create an elevator pitch for your virtual assistant business. An elevator pitch that briefly explains what you do and who you serve. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual experts. I've helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as well-paid virtual experts. On this YouTube channel, I will show you how to create a virtual expert career and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. It is called an elevator pitch because you should be able to convey your message in 20 to 30 seconds or the length of a short elevator ride. An elevator pitch is used not only for networking, but also anytime you need to introduce yourself and explain what you do. You can use your elevator pitch at training you're attending, a speech you're giving, an event you are attending, a casual encounter, or a phone call. It is merely an introduction used to spark interest in your business. Here are the steps to putting together your elevator pitch. Remember your goal. Let's face it, a lot of people have a preconception of what a virtual assistant does. Your goal is to briefly draw a picture of what your company does and how it's unique. You want the other person to have a clear understanding of how you can help your ideal client. Explain what you do. Start by asking yourself what you want your audience to remember most about you. Keep it exciting. You should be excited because if your pitch doesn't excite you, it'll be really hard to ex excite your audience. Enthusiasm is memorable. Show the value of what you do for your clients. Use your USP. A USP is your unique selling proposition. What makes you and your business unique? What makes your services different than others? Practice your pitch. You will need to internalize this short script. Many people think they will sound canned if they memorize the script, but that isn't true. It will help you to be relaxed and be able to convey your message quickly. If you haven't figured out your USP, please take time to do that before you start to write your elevator pitch. Conveying what makes you different will make a big difference in how memorable your speech will be to your audience. Here's an example of an elevator pitch. I draw upon my 10 years in the real estate industry to help busy real estate agents who are overwhelmed. I coordinate their closings from the time they go under contract until the day of closing so that the agent can spend more time doing their most profit producing activities, working directly with buyers and sellers. Here are a few tips I think are important. Don't speak too fast when delivering your elevator pitch. It makes it hard for your listeners to understand your message. Avoid rambling. This is why it is so important to practice your script. Remember to smile. Not only will it make you appear friendlier, but it also helps you to modulate your voice. I recommend you write a couple of different versions to touch on your ideal client's various pain points. And take the time to put together your elevator pitch so you can tell someone what you do in an understandable and concise 30 second pitch. To learn more about me and my virtual expert program, watch my free webinar at the link below. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the little ding-a-ling bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Be sure to also like this video and comment below. I promise you I read every comment.